an early start followed by a three hour journey to the Lake District from his Midlands home, accompanied by more hiking gear than fishing tackle is not the way most trips start, but this was not going to be a normal day's fishing. Hello there and welcome to the beautiful Lake District in the north of England. We're here today on a fishing challenge with a difference. The other day I was posed the question, where's the highest altitude brown trout in the UK? I thought to myself, maybe the Highlands of Scotland? Maybe Snowdonia in Wales? Apparently not. All roads lead to here, the Lake District. Behind the hills here, there's a lake called Red Tarn that sits at over 2,000 feet above sea level that we think has the highest altitude brown trout anywhere in Great Britain. Let's go and have a look. finally got to Red Tarn. It's a two and a half hour hike and it's a fairly arduous one, but it's really exciting. It's a beautiful lake. We've got the Helvellyn Mountains behind us. Even better, we're seeing trout rising. I'm really excited about this. Let's see if we can catch some of these. Located in the shadows of the Helvellyn Mountain, carved out by glaciers thousands of years ago, this water will remain half frozen for most of the year, which means natural food is scarce. The resident brown trout will therefore not grow as large as their lowland brothers, but the purity and clarity of the water means that beautiful markings are even more vivid. Although trout were rising periodically, the fishing proved tough. After a couple of hours and numerous refusals and fly changes, it became apparent the task may not be as simple as it first appeared. Oh, what a fantastic feeling. Weather conditions have been on and off, it's been really difficult. We lost a couple of fish in the first 10 minutes as well, which was really frustrating. I was starting to wonder whether we'd blown it or not, but we had noticed that every time the sun came out, the fish came back up to the top. We just got a little patch of sunlight there for five minutes. I changed fly from a beaded damsel. I went for the muddler daddy, which is one of my favorite flies for this kind of fish in the locks and the tarns. You get it through a riffle, they always seem to like it. And this, while it may not be the biggest trout in the UK, right now might just be the hardest earned. He's very, very lively. I'm quite keen on getting him back fairly quickly. Just tease that little fire in his mouth. Fantastic, I am over the moon with that. What we're holding now may well be the highest altitude trout in the UK. Mission accomplished, I'm absolutely thrilled. <laughs> Come on! Oh amazing, we've got another fish in the net now. These fish 
Well, they're not the biggest fish in the world. They mean an awful lot because of all the planning that's gone into this. Um, the hike up, the conditions since we got here. But to catch these gorgeous little wild brown trout makes the whole thing absolutely worthwhile. Amazing fish. Completely wild. Probably never seen a fly before. And very, very feisty. Absolutely gorgeous. As well as a stock of wild brown trout, Red Tarn is also home to one of the few populations of the mysterious and endangered skelly in the UK. Although it is a complete mystery how they got here in the first place, it is in fact illegal to target them, although there have been occasional captures reported. Wow, what an amazing day's fishing. The sun's just started to dip below the peak of Helvellyn Mountain behind us, uh, which unfortunately signals the end of the day's fishing. We've got a very long hike back out, so we need to leave plenty of time. The last fish that we got here took a size 10 black hopper skated across the surface. It's still very, very lively. But these fish are all absolutely gorgeous, pristine and totally wild. Very long, very lean, but what an amazing, beautiful fish. Hopefully I'll come back to Red Town soon. Fantastic.